Hey guys, progress report. Uh, I've been told a few ideas. I'm just gonna show you them. Um, they're from YouTube now, from YouTube Shorts. One idea told me to make a river and a mountain, a river that you can drink water from, and a torch, and also a day-night cycle. I already did those things. I mean, almost all of them. I did do the day-night cycle. I did do the torch, and I also made the river. The mountain, too. For the mountain, I created a new type of tree called a pine tree. And you can see it's amazing looking. It's literally just like a real life pine tree. Here's one pine tree here for comparison. Do they look alike or not? More rocks are going to spawn in, in a mountain. Obviously, there's going to be more rocks that you can mine inside of a mountain. So this is the start of the river. And as you can see, if we zoom out, you can see that this river is going almost around the whole map. I kind of tried to make it geographically accurate. Well, it's not geographically accurate 100%, but it is kind of. Just a quick small geography lesson. So here is a comparison to a real life river. We have right here a map of the Nile River. And you can see it starts from Lake Victoria and it goes uh, downhill to the coast of Egypt. Why does this happen? So you can see the lake. The lake is actually at a high altitude. So it's 1,135 meters above sea level. Because of this, the, the water of this lake starts to flow downhill. And it so happened that Lake Victoria's water flows downhill till the coast of Egypt, basically connecting with the Mediterranean Sea. So usually rivers don't end at seas. Uh, most of the time they do. But sometimes they also end in land, it's just a random air place of the land. So as you can see right here, I did that. It just, just dries out. If you look at every single river in the world, you're going to notice that the beginning of that river is always at a high altitude. And it always goes downhill. And the second geographical lesson is mountains. Um, so usually mountains, obviously they change when you go higher. And that is called the altitudinal zonation. At the bottom of a mountain, you'll always see more flora. And then it starts to thin out the grass and the trees. And you can see that it's a small layer of mud and dirt. And then it transitions immediately to more rock. Okay, and as it goes up, you can see the uh, snowy peak. Yeah, that's pretty much it about mountains. <laughs> okay, so I haven't done actually everything. I mean, I didn't make the water drinkable yet. I have to do a bit of more coating and a raycast for this. Uh, but pretty much everything else is finished. So yeah, see you guys later.